This is one part of a process that's much larger. Right now it's tedium. I'm just trying to create this matrix, this line of glass that meanders organically into this area right here and fill it so that it's even throughout. So the whole piece will have to get this kind of treatment. And then we're gonna build out to the next cylinder and then put it inside another cube. I'm originally from California. Born in Los Angeles, raised in the Central Valley, Modesto. Went on to San Jose State University in engineering. I had a friend at San Jose that introduced me to the ceramics department there. I had gone into engineering to make stuff. The way you built was so formulaized that the ceramics seemed to resonate with me more than engineering and I had this kind of catharsis and decided that I would change majors. Because this glass that we're using is such a low coefficient of expansion, we can build in this manner and it takes a lot of shock so we can put the torch right on it like this and it's cold and it can go from cold to you know a couple of thousand degrees in the matter of seconds. It's very durable and very rugged and we're working with elements that are thin enough to take that kind of shock as well. I think that my studies in school in engineering were great background for understanding how to work with materials. You know, understanding the physics of this particular glass as opposed to earlier works that were done in soda lime glass helps me. In high school, I had a geometry teacher that was really great. His name was Jay Patti. He made geometry so much fun. There were so many theorems and all this stuff you kind of had to memorize. But he taught geometry more like a foreign language. He'd say a theorem and then he'd have the students say it out loud and repeat it. And he was kind of full of this kind of crazy idea. And I think we learn geometry through osmosis rather than having it kind of pounded into us. But I do go back to geometry a lot in terms of the way I construct things and, and look at things. Next door to the studio here, there was a Wonder Bread factory. This was a number of years ago, and they tore that down. When they raised that building, at the end, they were shaking all the concrete out of this pile of rebar, and they had a rat's nest of a reinforcing rod the size of a house that was left over from the deconstruction. I thought it would be interesting and fun to go in there and weld that rebar together and then take a transit, line that thing up, and cut it into a geometric shape. I tried building a piece out of glass with that, and I constructed it in a way that was a matrix of interconnected glass elements. I showed that in the faculty show, and they were pretty excited to see the glass in this way, and there was a lot of curiosity as to how I was able to make the thing. So that was encouraging, and I started building in that manner. I like to say that life is long, and there's a lot of work left in all of us, so. I don't think we're going to retire from making work. I think that's something that we're going to be doing until forever, maybe, you know, who knows.